Okay, we're going to take a look today at uh, the latest plugin I've been working on, which is a uh, 4D or sequencing enhancement for Navisworks in terms of uh, the IFC data that it imports. I'm starting here with a model that I'm creating here in Grasshopper. It's actually a demonstration model I've used on the blog before. There are a few sliders here for adapting, say, the number of stories in the building or some of the, uh, the plate arrangements in terms of the offsets of the circles or the uh, scaling of, of the distribution of the tower. But uh, so, yeah, that, and that's as per the normal IFC components that have been in use for some time. Uh, what it starts to get a bit more interesting with some of the newer stuff then is actually how we can do time scheduling or construction sequence of, uh, of the construction of these elements. So there's some slab and core wall elements in, uh, running up through the spines of these two towers. So basically I've set up uh, a work plan uh, here of the overall construction, given it a start date, and then used that um, to, to create the uh, tasks and then assigned here using the assigns to product um, the walls for each of the construction. I've given it a duration, so I've set a seven day or a week cycle of uh, a jump of the core of the walls and here you can actually see that I'm sequencing the tasks so I'm, I'm shifting the lists from one to the next and then sequencing I haven't put a lag time in between them yet at, um, for this particular example um, then there's also some sequencing components up here for the floor slabs starting at a slightly later date and following up behind um, but using the same sorts of arrangements of components for the core walls at the moment, I haven't put any constraints in such that the core can freestand a number of stories above the slabs, but that also could be something that could be added in. Uh, when I'm happy with the file that I've got, again, I will just bake this into a uh, into the IFC file. Okay, note you do have to use IFC 2x3, so make sure IFC 4 is unticked um, until the native Navisworks importer can actually recognize IFC 4. Um, so if you do open, I can open that IFC file that I just created. Okay, now Navisworks will in, um, import the geometry and the elements and the nature of the elements, but it doesn't actually uh, recognize yet the, the 4D um, or 5D aspects of the IFC file, so the sequencing or the, or the costing information, which is something that I hope to add as, as, as an improvement to this tool sometime quite soon. Okay, so you'll have to install my Navisworks um, plugin to get the um, enhanced attributes out of the IFC file. So having opened the, the IFC file, click on the add-ins menu, tools, GeomGym IFC, and then browse and pick that same IFC, for, um, IFC file. Uh, this will take just a second or two to process, but now you can see that it's actually grabbed those tasks worked out the start and used the duration and the sequencing to, to calculate the end of each task and the commencement of the next. So you can see the core walls and the slabs. And what's nice then in Navisworks is that we can simulate that. So if I press play here, uh, we should see the walls start to, to, to get built up and then the slabs trailing up behind them. Okay, so this is just a uh, first example and test. I'm sure there's a lot more improvements I'll do to the sequencing and the lags and, and, and those types of calculations, but certainly if you're interested, download it, test it out, and give me some feedback about uh, future improvements. Adding the costs and those types of characteristics is certainly something that I've got in mind.